In this short explanatory video, I would like to introduce the Seiki model of Nonaka and Takeuchi and link it with an explanation around the concepts of implicit and explicit knowledge. This is Marcus. Marcus is a diving instructor with his own diving school and three employed diving instructors in Mauritius. Besides diving courses, he also offers boat trips and accessoires such as diving suits. And this is Tobias, Marcus' 15 years old son. After school, his favorite hobby is to sail around the sea in a small boat and enjoy the sun. If he is lucky, he even sees a few whales on the surface of the sea. Also today, he went out with a boat. He made himself comfortable with a book and on deck and reads animatedly which sea inhabitants divers can discover in Mauritius. Impressive, these pictures of different coral reefs and fishes, he thinks while his gaze wanders alongside the horizon. To only read only about what can be discovered as a diver is not enough for him, and it annoys him that with no word he gets explained how to dive. He searches the chapters, but nothing. No information about how to dive. The book that Tobias reads and the fin of the whale on the surface of the sea are metaphors for the explicit knowledge. It describes the knowledge that is easily accessible and documentable. For example, the names of various fish, their size and way of life. There is nothing to be found in the book about the how of diving because this is knowledge that is based on one's own experiences and impressions. It is difficult to document and is called implicit knowledge. Like the underwater world or a diver underwater, this knowledge therefore remains hidden for Tobias from the surface of the sea. The Seiki model describes the transformation from implicit to explicit knowledge and back again to implicit knowledge. That evening, Tobias comes home excitedly and asks his father, Daddy, how does it feel when you are diving? How does it work? Explain everything to me. I want to try it. Marcus, his father, is happy about his son's interest and is about to answer, but he can't quite figure out how to explain diving. He always goes to the sea with his students, does a few dry runs and first exercises on the shore. He is at a loss for words, and so he replies to his son to take him along to his diving course tomorrow. This is where the first phase of the Seiki model, the socialization phase, comes in. It is based on the implicit knowledge acquired by the father through years of experience and practice in diving. During the socialization phase, it is therefore important to establish a common understanding and trust. Important in this phase is that Tobias observes his father while he is doing diving exercises, that he imitates the exercises and does something himself. This means that he learns by non-verbal actions, but also by tips and anecdotes of his father. No sooner said than done, the two of them go to practice every day for the next weeks. And Tobias makes progress step by step until he is finally ready to dive in the open sea and discover the treasures the sea has kept hidden from him for so long. He is overwhelmed and starts to document the individual steps, challenges and problems he had in the beginning. The second phase of the Seiki model is called externalization. This means that people share their knowledge with other people. By writing down his initial problems and progress and creating an instruction, Tobias turns implicit into explicit knowledge. His father and his staff are enthusiastic about the first documentary. They give Tobias further tips and together they revise the documentation. They complement each other in their ideas and consider new innovative exercises and training concepts. They enjoy the common documentation and decide to publish it as a book and sell it in the diving school. This third phase, the phase of combination, describes that new knowledge is created by the cooperation and the joint development of different people. Through the exchange between experienced diving instructors and Tobias, the beginner, progressive concepts can be developed in this little story. Tobias' father is excited because he as well considers the book as very helpful to teach his students how to dive. Not only can the students take away first tips for themselves through the book and prepare for difficulties, 
but he and his staff also draw their own conclusions and can revise their training concept. More targeted practices and explicit advice on what beginners should pay attention to contribute to the efficiency of the diving lessons. Due to their own specific experience and their own view of diving in the past, the diving instructors were not really aware of what the real difficulties for beginners are. They have gained new knowledge by sharing their personal experiences of diving and especially by exchanging ideas with Tobias. The fourth phase is the internalization. It describes that this new knowledge is internalized again by the individuals. In this example, this means that the instructors do not only develop the new diving concepts in theory, but also understand and implement them. Consequently, the students practice these new exercises and learn to dive. So in this phase, the new concepts are combined with own experience and thus personal implicit knowledge is created again. More and more often, tourists are now seen on the beach or on boat trips reading the new book. The diving crew agrees. Optimization is always possible. So they, they decide to continuously record new pictures and findings to further develop the book and to offer additional volumes. In the story, this continuous development represents the structure of the Seki model, which can be understood as a continuous spiral. The four phases are constantly being run through over and over again.